exciting and new all aboard all right we just found a new thrift shop not too far from us so we're gonna go exploring and see what we see and what's funny is if you didn't look this place up or you didn't know it was already here you wouldn't know you really wouldn't know it's a big place apparently it's a church related mission thrift store Interesting. So they got a lot of clothes in this one. <laughs> Wedding dresses. Ah, I'm drawn to the curio cabinet. You can see they have those are definitely crystal mm -hmm. compared to the cheap glass over here in the back. Those yeah. saucers are cheap glass. Like six pieces. That's all of this. Oh, yeah? 40 bucks. And then let's see those dolls. I like dolls, but I have like a particular interest. These are interesting, but I'm not sure that I like them that much. These are like the porcelain head dolls. And then this is a china set, but let's see from where. I don't know that this is English, I'm not sure might be English or it could be Japanese. A lot of Japanese look like that too, Japanese China. But let's see, it says Royal, oh, Germany. It's actually from Germany. So this set is $69. And over here, this one apparently is 44. Okay, and then here you got some corning. We used to live upstate New York and they had the corning plant there. And up here they've got these Russian dolls for $14.99. So nice, but nothing that I feel like I want, 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 want. Not really. Maybe those glasses. Maybe, maybe. Alright, what do we have over this table? Just random, maybe wedding related stuff. I guess that's why they have that picture. I want a church hat not because I want a church hat but because I want to transform it with Ankara I have this like concept that I want to have a tea party with uh, Ankara you know with African cloth so I might actually buy a hat that I can use for a tea party <laughs> I've never really owned a church hat I don't really wear hats like that how ridiculous do I look y'all how ridiculous do I look uh, I can't push it on because of my hair. <laughs> How ridiculous do I look? But I'm going to get it. It should be fun. <laughs> oh no. I don't think this is... Uh, fool. <laughs> Wedding veil? 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 I don't remember where my wedding dress is. Wow, but this is actually kind of pretty. Look at all the detail. It's actually kind of pretty. I'm sure I could find use for it. Wow, does this say $189? Maybe that was the original price because no way are they selling it for that much. Okay, yeah, see, like this, 40 bucks. All kinds of randomness. Oh, oh, I have some of these. Look, I have some of these. I actually have one that looks just like that, the little girl, but mine had a heart in it. And then that one's really nice. This used to be a thing back in the day. People used to collect a lot of these. Look at the mom and the baby, the husband and wife, a pregnant woman or expecting mother, the mom and her daughter. Sweet. There's a pampered cat back there. You see, they have a lot of clothes, but I'm not usually interested in clothes. I know there are a lot of the fashion girls who come out and have a lot of fun with thrifting clothes, but I don't usually do do that too much. I have in the past gotten kids jeans. Yeah, I have no problem getting them jeans because I feel like jeans is one of those rough and tough things that you can wash and you can wear them. So, but in general clothes, 
I might do a video one day where we, I've said that before, Kenton and I should do a video where we come out and pick up some clothes and dress each other or something. That would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> I could just see him in a nice 70s or 80s outfit. Well, we never buy electronics uh, used because you just never know if how well the product works or not. If you need an extra garden table, this is not bad. You know, just put a nice tablecloth on it. This is $19.99, not bad. If you're having a family reunion and you need a long banquet table, these are very handy because they can uh, fold up and put away. But you can have a lot of people sit at a table like this. And let's see how much they're settling it for. $25, that's really good. Really, really good, honestly. Um, I used to do a lot of uh, events in the past. We would host a lot of people in our house. And um, these tables came in handy. You just dress it up with a nice tablecloth and you would never know. Put some nice chairs around it. You can use them outside or inside. Some more random houseware stuff, knickknacks. Ooh, look at this, this whole set here. Ken, look at this. This whole set here is $54. I don't know if it's real China or not. Let's see. Bavaria. Oh, Bavaria, okay. So it's European. Yeah, yeah, no. They don't hold the same value as the English China, so no. That's why it's so cheap. I think I might get this. $2.99? What do you think? What do you think about this, Boo? I don't know if you like it. Okay, so you gotta examine things very well. So I won't get it because do you see there's a chip? I never buy broken or chipped things. So no. We'll leave you back here. Now this here, sparkly, draws my attention. Crystal dish, yes, this is crystal. You see how white? or clear it is compared to say the cheap glass next to it that is nice so this footage is from another thrift shop in durham by now kenton and i consider ourselves professional thrifters <laughs> you never know what you find like this piece of furniture we got for a few hundred dollars many years ago it's solid wood and the items on top of the uh chest we actually bought at an antique store many years ago an auction and that was really cool too. We used to go to auctions in South Carolina. Wikipedia's or novels? No, the books, but the classics. Oh yeah? The, the early ads, you see there. Um, oh, all the classics, huh? Classics, yeah. How much? $19.99. Wow. That's only a dollar and 25 cents per book. Wow. And Good then conditions. I even like this basket too what do you yeah. think of this it's That's really neat. big it's yeah. big i mean i can imagine a really cool display yeah, with that good shape. yeah it's huge interesting yeah. but i don't want to you know just get stuff that's just clutter clutter but it's it's nice i like these two Ooh, definitely i like this for planting we're using it for food or planting, but for $17.99, that's a lot mm -hmm. for planting. I'm not going to do that. Let somebody else get it. And this is a nice handmade pie dish. If you're into, like, you know, nice pottery. It's heavy. Over here, we have these kind of vintage-looking um, dessert plates. Four dessert plates for $8.00 comes in this like hat box looking container see got all these regal women but I don't need enough I need I don't need any more plates <laughs> truthfully more stuff more and more and more okay <laughs> Kenton's like I better get a basket but it's heavy yeah Real heavy, nice, big, heavy clay pot. Yeah, it's nice clay. Mm -hmm. Interesting looking vase. Very organic looking. I just see a huge, this would hold a huge bouquet of flowers. 
because you see how wide it is up here. Yeah, I think that's more interesting than that one. Right? Because you get that height. Mm. It feels more like a waterfall. Here's a nice creepy bear. Creepy. Is it a cookie jar or is it just a solid piece? I don't know. The eyes are creeping me out a little bit. I got a lot of glasses. Look, a lot of glasses. I could have gotten this for Khalid. $5 for all these glasses or $4 for these mugs. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Literally a dollar a mug. And these are pretty decent for like, a, you know, a young man like him who doesn't need anything too fancy. I like this. I like this. This is like a clay pitcher. This will make a nice organic base. I actually maybe even like it better than the glass one we just saw. Because there's just something very organic about it. For flowers. Look pretty on a table. For food or for plant display? Right. Well, it's Would you use it for? Well, it's weird. I think it's for some sort of display. I don't think it's food. Because see, it's got... Yeah, it's got feet. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll buy it and use... Um, I mean, you put my... Make put some the, succulents in there. Yeah, this would be a good succulent because it doesn't have holes in it. But, oh, well, you know what? Actually, sometimes it's better with the holes. But it's okay without it if no, with you don't use too much water. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. With the succulents, it's fine. Yeah. Ooh, look at this miniature. This is so cute. So cute. I'm gravitating 99 cents. I think my dolls will appreciate this. Another favorite section of Kenton's is uh, the books. They got a lot of little jewelry also. Oh, this is cute. That is cute. Got the little vintage typewriter, the books, the phone, the drawers. So shortly after the thrift shop, we stopped at Trader Joe's. As you guys know, I am adhering to a vegetarian diet, which is new for me, at least Monday through Friday. Maybe on the weekends, I try a little seafood. But anyway... I will show you our thrift because we got a lot of vegetarian foods that we had never tried before. I really wanted to try the uh, vegetarian meat. I mean, can you imagine meat? It looks like meat, but it wasn't meat. Anyway, I am really more about eating fresh fruit and vegetables. I like foods to look like what they say they are, but I figured it would be fun to try things that looked like other things that happen to be vegetarian. So we'll show you that in another video once um, I cook it and make something interesting for the family. So let's get back home and I'll show you um, our haul, basically what we came home with, okay? So we're back home and I thought it was really nice outside. So instead of doing the haul inside, why not let's go outside? Let's take it out to the deck. It was pretty warm still, but not as hot as it had been earlier, at least for North Carolina. And the only thing I needed to worry about were the mosquitoes. <laughs> so let's get this haul started. Welcome back. And before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you haven't yet. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and apply some bug spray. <laughs> this is the mosquito kryptonite, okay? And it's the kind of more natural version. It doesn't have DEET in it, so I really like it. Hopefully the smell doesn't offend you, but you can find this at Walmart or pretty much any drugstore, and it repels mosquitoes. So that's how I manage outside. So I have these crystal goblets. I try to buy things in pairs. Usually if I can find, you know, four or six, even better, but at least two of an item. And these are so beautiful. You can tell crystal by the way it sparkles and also the sound it makes when you kind of hit them together lightly. Even if you don't drink alcohol, a beautiful goblet will just elevate your juice or your water or whatever sparkly drink 
you're having for the day. It just elevates it. I love it. The next item is just a simple mason jar. I like the fact that it had a color to it and it looked like it was practically brand new and I got that for only a dollar. So I use things like that as a vase. It gives you that kind of country vibe and simple but pretty. In the South, people use mason jars a lot to serve drinks, but also as vases, you know, for that country look or that country feel. I've actually seen mason jars used a lot at weddings. Um, it just brings that kind of homey feel, nothing too formal, very simple, but pretty. I can't help it. I like to collect vases, especially interesting ones. Now this we bought at a thrift shop in an area called Carborough. We used to live in Carborough when we first moved out of the small town. And anyway, there's a cute little thrift shop there. And I just really liked this vase. I liked how large and shiny it was. It's gonna look good on my dining table. What do you think? The next item I'm really excited about was one of my favorite pieces is this vase. I absolutely love it. As soon as I saw it, I just knew it had to come home with us. It, was, it wasn't expensive at all. I think it was literally like three, four dollars. I couldn't believe it. I love the colors. I love the stark black and the contrast with the white stripes. I just knew it was gonna look good in my living room as you can see here. I added some greenery to it and it just, just looked like it belongs there on the mantle. Doesn't it? Just look at my kind of Afrocentric vibe. It just went perfectly so i absolutely love it like i said again you just don't know what you're going to find in a thrift shop it turns out it's nothing even that special it was a vase that was sold by target target many years ago so it's kind of vintage target <laughs> but it's beautiful so i just wanted to show you some other smaller vases i had thrifted in the past so this green one is actually heavy marble and then this one that I'm still holding is fire burned clay. So you kind of start to have like a cohesive collection and it's giving off very Afrocentric vibes, which I absolutely love. Okay, so what do we have next? So see, I got one of those handmade pottery. Really cute, really beautiful. I think it was probably originally made to eat like chili. I don't think it looks like a coffee mug or hot chocolate mug. I think it looks more like a bowl with a handle. What do you think? It's so beautiful though, right? And it looks literally brand new. I don't think it looks like it's been used. But my purposes for purchasing it or reason for getting it is I want to use it as a planter. So I want to show you, see, here's another clay pot where I have a little orchid in it. This orchid is struggling, but it's coming through. You know, it, I actually thought it died. I thought it died and I left it outside over the winter time, but it's starting to come right back. But anyway, it looks beautiful in this little clay pot. And that's what I plan to do with the other pots that I bought. So like this bowl also, I like these like organic looking bowls. I guess once I made this succulent display, I decided I was gonna make some more. And so finding these bowls, these very interesting bowls are a great way to repurpose and make something beautiful. So even if I don't eat out of them, I think growing succulents in them would be very nice. Okay, so these plates, there's a story to them. I absolutely love them. They look handmade. They look like something a potter made, but they're actually factory made. From what I can tell, they're probably made in China. Nothing special. I just like the way they look because they look handmade and they remind me of a lot of the pottery I have been seeing. So these are like a dark brown, almost black, and again, they're very textured and they're really salad plates. And I like the shape of them. And I wish I could have found many more of them. As you can see, not expensive at all. However, at a different thrift shop, I found some green ones. Now these green ones are the same exact size and shape as the ones before, just a different color. So I decided I was going to kind of use them on a table and alternate them because they remind me so much of this plate set that I had before. Years ago, I had this beautiful plate set. I'll show you one because I only have one plate left. 
I had about 12 of these plates. They were very large and circular. See, let me show you. Okay, you see this plate? It's almost twice the size of the ones I just showed you. And I had a set of about 12 of them and they're quite heavy and you could eat a ton of food on these plates. And when I would host people, these were lovely plates to have. But while I was away, the children said that the their shelving that they were sitting on fell and all the plates smashed. So I literally lost a whole set of plates and I have one more. So that's why when I saw these smaller ones, it instantly reminded me of this set that I had before and I had to get it. But anyway, you know, nothing special. I just like them. The next item we thrifted is this cheese tool set. Can you see it's still in the box? It has never been opened. So somebody probably got it as a gift, maybe didn't use it and decided to give it away, donate it. So as you can see, less than $5. Usually, if you know anything about cheese boards and charcuteries, it's usually that bougie thing and usually they are expensive, okay? So if you've ever had to buy a cheese set, which I have a set myself um, that I bought brand new, they're pretty expensive, especially the nice ones. So I was really excited to find these still in the box for literally, what, $3? I had to get it. So anyway, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Now, I know if my cousin is watching this, she's thinking, you've turned into your grandmother, don't we all? All right, first item, a candle. As you know, good candles this size usually are quite expensive. And what's nice about this is not only was it cheap, it had never been used. It was literally a brand new candle. Look at that. The wicks have not been burned, have not been lighted and it smells really nice. It smells like vanilla cupcake. So I got it because it's going on my new vanity. I can't wait for you guys to see my new vanity soon. Another video. Okay, what do we have here? Let's see. Oh, I remember. Look, it's that cute little pot. Now please somebody tell me in the comments, do you think this is Native American? This pottery, this tiny little pot, reminds me of something I would have seen in Africa or in Nigeria specifically. Not the actual symbols, but the quality of the clay and the painting. You can tell that was handmade. All right, what next? All right, this is just a simple bowl, which probably came from the dollar store. I really didn't need to get it, but I kind of wanted something like this because I was thinking of making a terrarium. You know, your girl likes to do a lot of DIY projects. I'm one of those people who enjoys using my hands and I like creating beautiful things. So that's what I'm using it for. All right. What's in it? What's in it? Oh, it's my crystal bowl. So I got that crystal bowl. It actually looks like an ashtray, doesn't it? but it's not an ashtray, it really isn't. You could put nuts in there, you could put candy in there, you could put even makeup in there if you wanted to, or anything beautiful. It is so pretty, so pretty. And I can't believe how cheap it was. It's definitely going on my vanity. I believe it's what you call lead crystal. It's quite heavy, but it's beautiful. And here, my dear, is the vanity I'm talking about. This is my dream vanity, which I just got recently. Yes! I can't wait to show you guys once I decorate it. All right, what do we have next? Okay, so I did get that clay handmade pottery. Would you call this a pie dish, or do you think this is a bowl, a fruit bowl? I guess it could be either, right? I'm not sure. All I know is it's beautiful and I think I'm gonna use it to put some plants in it. That's what I think right now. What would you do with it? If you had this right now, what would you use it for? Now look at this cute little chair, cute little rocking chair, cute little vintage rocking chair. <laughs> now, if you've been following me a while, you already know. It's actually meant to be a candle holder, right? That's why the top has a hole in it. It was a candle holder. I got this for a dollar. But my girls have other plans for it. Say hello to Ayodele. 
and Rosie, she's claimed the chair as you can see. She is enjoying her little rocking chair. <laughs> so yes, that's why I bought it. That's why I bought it. And for those of you that don't appreciate dolls, I'm sorry. But they give me peace and they make me joyful. <laughs> so here's a story. Okay, here's a story, Habiba. Focus. So you see this little table and chair? I got this from the same vintage store. There's this vintage store in Carborough that sells all kind of like military gear, all kind of like things about the armed forces back in the 60s and 50s, and they happen to have miniature toy stuff. So I asked for it and he showed me the set. As you can see, it's still in very good condition and it's quite valuable. If you look up that German toy maker, you will see it's quite valuable. So anyway, I went back to that same thrift store and he had what looked like a whole bunch of stuff. You could barely move in that store. And I saw this cute little doll in a dusty window, okay, on display. She is dusty, she is old. I instantly knew this was a vintage doll. Now, some of y'all don't get it, but for those of us who collect dolls, this is a Madame Alexander doll. This is a doll that's made in the United States. Why that is significant is a lot of dolls not made nowadays are made actually abroad, like places like China. United States no longer makes dolls in general, but she looks perfect, okay? She is definitely vintage. She was made probably in the 60s or 70s. So she might actually have even been made in the 60s before I was born. She has a petticoat. She has a full skirt. She has her socks still intact. The only thing she's missing are her shoes. She actually still has the brochure that, you know, was sold with her. And again, this is a Madame Alexander doll. And those of you who collect dolls, you must understand my excitement. <laughs> This is a doll that to me just has some historical value, okay? Made in New York, and she's part of a collection called the International Dolls. And this one was supposed to be from Ireland, or they were modeling her to look like she was an Irish girl. Now, you know, of course, a lot of people think dolls are spooky. I get it. But I've always collected dolls since I was little. And now that I'm older, I find value in vintage dolls. Now at the same place, that same guy who owned the store said, I have a book you might like since you want this doll. As soon as he offered to sell me the book, I was like, yes. I didn't even see the book. I just knew I would be interested. And this is a book about Madame Alexander dolls from 1965 to 1990s, okay? And in it, it's just a beautiful historical reference of all these dolls of, you know, representations of different cultures. You can see a Miss Brazil. You can see dolls from different professions, different races, different cultures. And, you know, some of them now would be considered offensive, but they were definitely, definitely representative of the time, you know, how... Um, Caucasians saw other cultures and for example you can see this one was supposed to be Africa representing Africa as if Africa is a country obviously Africa is a continent full of different cultures different uh, countries different religions different languages but it's just interesting to look back because sometimes you got to look back to see where you've come right and how far we have advanced um, so I don't know. I just find books like this interesting. Look at this one. These are dolls made to represent Chinese people. Now, clearly you might be offended by this because all of the features look Caucasian. They don't look like the people they represent. But at the time, this is how they made dolls. And for example, this one, the Irish one, she is in the book. So I was able to look and find her and find out the value at the time. So when the when this book was printed, they could tell you how much the dolls were worth. So obviously that doll is worth more now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little, well, is it little or is it big thrift find? I really hope you did. And
and this was my favorite right here this vase or at least one of my favorites what was your favorite of my thrift finds is it this crystal bowl well that was a favorite too and i can't wait again to show you my new vanity you'll see it on there bye <laughs> at least we don't have to clean up <laughs> just look at her look at all that mess she made <laughs> I mean, I can't believe it. When are we going to have dinner? I have no idea, Ayudele. I have no idea. I just hope she doesn't break my rocking chair. But Rosie, I really did not appreciate that you would not let me sit in your rocking chair. I thought we are friends. And you would not let me sit in it, too. How much did I get it for? $9.99. I almost forgot I got that ridiculous hat. Let's put this in a low bun and see if that works better. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> this comes in handy. Uh, I always turn off the air because I like it warmer, but right now it feels hot. Um, Kenton's not here because he has something with law school, so that's why I get to keep it warm. I like that feeling like I'm in Africa or something. Okay, let's try this on. Mm, not sure yet. Maybe should the bow be in the front? I kind of ripped off the lace netting and I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. But let's see, I think it's supposed to be like extra in the front like this. Would you like to join me for tea? <laughs> Coming soon. Bye again.